Hey friends, Pastor Kim here. Uh, last night we uh, talked about starting a new devotion and I posted a link uh, to Bible.com uh, called Putting an X Through Anxiety. Talking about anxiety, uh, being willing to talk about anxiety uh, helps um, give release uh, to your worry. Anxiety, um, as the uh, devotion last night said, anxiety is this looming giant in a deep valley that threatens and taunts, intimidates, incapacitates sometimes, paralyzes us, and, and uh, this giant can be real. This giant uh, feels deadly to us, and so anxiety has cousins. If you've been reading this, you know, the cousins of anxiety are panic, worry, fear, and dread, and it becomes very complex to us. Uh, but there are spiritual, mental, physical, emotional, genetic, and other circumstances that factor in, that cause us to fail and fall into the grip of depression, pulling us away from the people that we love, um, shuttering our ability to deal with everyday life, to underestimate the problem, or to blow blow things off. And um, we, we get a little bit uh, high strung sometimes. Uh, we try to shrug it off, uh, and then we just hope to bounce back, and sometimes we don't. And so we find ourselves suffering, and you know that's when we know that we need to get into the promises of God, which means getting into the Word of God. Um, it's imperative, as the uh, study said last night, it's imperative for you to know that you are not standing helplessly alone in your valley, that God is there and God is fighting for us. He's fighting for you. Uh, we need to believe that He's already fought and won the victory even over our biggest anxiety, our biggest fear, our biggest Goliath. And so wanted to start this um, devotion that will help us to, s to fix our eyes, to set our gaze on, on God, on, on what God has done for us in Jesus, um, so that we don't ignore uh, anxiety, but we're able to face it straight on. And so the psalm that we lifted up and talked about last night was a psalm of Asaph. Uh, uh, it's uh, actually Psalm number um, 73 specifically verse 26 that uh, that reminds us that God is is our strength God is our healer God is our hope my health may fail my spirit may grow weak but God remains the strength of my heart he is mine forever friends that's very powerful for us and that we need to focus on that we need to set our gaze on the strength that God brings us and so the question that was asked last night, what is the one thing God is saying to you? What is God saying to you? How is God reaching into your soul, reaching into your spirit to give you the hope that you need, to give you the, the help, the visibility that, he, that he's present, he's there, he's God, he's holy, and he's righteous. And so tonight we look uh, at one of the... Uh, most popular uh, psalms uh, that that we you know most of it have it memorized but uh, Psalm 23 verse 1 he's all that we need the Lord is my shepherd I have all that I need if you can cling to that and if you can remember that you're gonna know that the battle is won right uh, the devotion that comes out of that tonight that I would love for you guys to go sign up for this devotion so that we can talk about it putting an X through anxiety uh, the title of this devotion is Say Hello to My Giant Slayer. And it says each person's anxiety is complex and unique, but all of us have the same hope today that God is fighting for us. Walking free from panic attacks, from depression, from fear and worry is a process, one with many steps and turns, but the key to living untangled from the anxiety is not a plan, but it's a person. It's a person. It's not a plan. It's a person. Your hope is in Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and he is inviting you to allow him to lead you through whatever you're facing in the world. And so 
you can trust in that and you can trust the Lord is your shepherd, he's your guide, he's your hope, and that in him you have all that you need. And so the question that we're going to post tonight, again, this question is going to be there for us each and every night to help us to focus and to set our gaze on the glory of God based on the reading of the devotion, based on what you're feeling today, based on how anxiety um, changes you, slows you, or how you're learning to fight it. What is the one thing that you feel, that you hear God saying to you? And if you will focus on what God is speaking to you, what God is speaking into your spirit, friends, that is the first step into recognizing that you have a friend in Jesus and you have victory. You have victory already over fear and over anxiety. You can battle that giant. Don't be afraid. So let's talk about it. What is the one thing God is saying to you right now? Will you share that? We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.